think the most important part of Pat was she wanted everyone that played for her to be the best they could be, and she was going to drag it out of you. Exactly. And, you know, the thing also looking back at just the recruiting process, she never promised me that I would play. She never promised me that I'd be a starter. She never promised me that I'd play X amount of minutes. What she told me was, if you work hard, you will play. If you learn the Lady Vol system and learn my way, you will have the opportunity to play, and I will push you beyond measure. And I think hearing that, okay, like, yeah, it sounds great. Actually living it and being a part of it is totally different. It's like, man, you, like you, what you said, you really expect me to do. And as a freshman coming in, it was really, really hard at first just trying to learn that system. But then, you know, throughout the four years, and I'm so blessed, we are so blessed because in literally our team, like I have front row seat to the best coach in the world ever. I have front row seat to how to be humble, how to carry yourself with grace, with poise, how to handle all the mess that was thrown at her through so many different arenas of her life, but how she was able to handle herself. We all have front row seats to that. So now, like, when I go through things and when I go through issues, like, I really do think about what would Pat do? How would Pat handle this? And it's crazy that even this far, like, this far removed from being at University of Tennessee and you know, with Pat not being here, I always say this. I'm like, Pat, while she's not physically here in the physical realm, like, she lives within each one of us as Lady Balls and every single person that ever had any interaction with her. Catch y'all. I, I want everybody. I just man. got chills. Yeah, wait a minute. Wait a minute. It's like, like uh, catch. I just got chills. Catch. Wow. Yeah, that's it. Yeah. It's tough to encomp- encapsulate, uh, Pat. Uh, but but man. Yeah. That that was pretty darn good. Amazing. Yeah. Catch. Let me ask you this. I I can't wait to to watch the um the film. I should have drove up there, so I should have seen it early. I tried but to get you up you there did. with me. You did. They wouldn't let me off, but um. <laughs> Catch, uh, <laughs> you got that championship, and this is what I want to know. That's that season, man. But to chase it year after year, um, what was that like getting a new crop? You came in as a freshman knowing how how um, serious it was when you got there and how, you know, a little bit of nervousness was there. But did that nervousness leave as you going into your junior, senior year and seeing this new crop of um, young ladies come in and be Lady Vols? How was that to try to pass it down from your freshman year so you, now you're going into a junior, senior year and passing it down to this new crop coming along. Yeah, you know, not really nervousness. I wouldn't call it nervousness. I would call it, you know, one of the things coming in, and I would just say, like, coming in as a freshman with KJ and Shmiqua and, mm-hmm. you know, Lori Milligan and Brene Laskin, those were actually our seniors. But coming in, and they set the tone for us. And so I think the biggest thing is you, like, go from freshman to sophomore, sophomore, junior, junior, senior, you're always trying to set the tone for the younger, the underclassmen. Mm-hmm. This is how we do things. This is how we handle ourselves. You know, like you try to do it like the lady, I mean, we say it, the lady of all ways. Right. There's other ways, and then there's the lady of all way. And even if you want to get even like in a smaller circle, there's a Pat Summit way, and this is how we do it. This is how we carry ourselves. And, you know, I think you know, I know, there's some people that, you know, I think what Pat had to learn how to do was allow some people a little bit more space because we all were so different in our own, you know, where we come from and just like, I mean, just sport, team sports in general, people from all different realms of life get thrown into this little bucket and we have to figure out how to work together. And I think Pat had a really good way of allowing us the space to be ourselves, but then also like challenging us to fit into the, the puzzle piece, like to be one of those puzzle pieces so that we could, at the end of the day, win a championship and at the end of the day have the success, not only as a basketball player, but even more so like as people when we leave the college game. Mm-hmm. I love that you said that, and I'm not going to spoil a bunch of stuff in the documentary, but along those lines, watching – it, it was so cool because the filmmakers brought you and and three of your other teammates from that team together and basically sat you in the old locker room and just let you guys chat. And my takeaway from it, from just listening to you guys talk and reminisce on that season was the closeness 
the win together mm. at all costs, the chemistry of that team that you could even feel now, like 20 years later when you guys were talking. And that was amazing to me. And, and you had said in one of those interviews, like you wanted to win that national title for Pat and for your teammates and then for yourself. But like it was, you know, it the, just the closeness and the chemistry and the win for each other part of that team like how that was your freshman year. So obviously you were young, but how special when you look back at it, was that? Well, it's all about family. Yeah. You know, it's super special that you can, and it's funny just thinking about me being there last night and talking to KJ. And it's like, I call it KJ. And people, some people, like people that went around are like, okay, who's KJ? I'm like, <laughs> Oh, yeah, that's right. She met, like, Kelly Harper. Like, that's what everybody knows. <laughs> that's but, coach. Yeah, <laughs> yeah it's cool. I mean, like, it's cool. like, come on. But it's, it's so cool that we can all go and live our own lives. But then when we come together and, you know, for, like, I, I, talk, I talk to Samika and Ace quite a bit. Um, I don't get to see them, but I talk to them. And then KJ, obviously, I get a chance to see because I'm commentating. So here and there, I get to see her and Kyra and I and, you know, some of the other players um, I get to see here and there. But it's it's always cool. Like, no matter what, when I go to Kentucky and I have to do the games and I sit there with Kyra and Naya before, it feels like we are just back in college, hanging out. They're joning on me. I'm joning on them. Like, something happens, talking about outfits, talking about, you know, we're just talking about basketball. And it is great because that is what is important. The family and us being together, that was important then and being able to win for each other. And Pat was like, don't worry about individual accolades. Let's worry about the team accolades. All of the, all of the other stuff will come. But here we worry and we focus on each other. And we focus on, I need to make the next person.